Hi there, it's Jermaine Satya from LiveWellZone.com. I'm a health coach who helps women to balance their hormones naturally. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about mood swings during perimenopause and some herbal remedies that could give you relief. Now, when we talk about anything related to perimenopause, we usually focus a lot on the fact that uh, estrogen production is going down but we also must remember that there are other hormones that are also being impacted by perimenopause and one of them is progesterone okay so overall the ovaries are producing less sex hormones during perimenopause so estrogen declines progesterone also takes a severe nosedive and the reason why this matters is because um, not only are you know not only do estrogen and progesterone keep each other in check so they're basically counterparts to each other but when it comes to progesterone specifically this is a hormone that has been found to have more of a calming and relaxing effect on the body okay so for example there's research showing that having sufficient amounts of progesterone can help with, some, with sleep uh, women who have PMDD they tend to have an imbalance when it comes to their progesterone levels there is also some research done with uh, women in perimenopause and they found that the ones that had higher levels of progesterone had better resilience and had lower perceived stress so overall uh, progesterone really can have a common effect on the body it can also help us to um, really to process experiences and the emotions that go with those experiences so that we are actually uh, demonstrating or expressing the appropriate emotions based on the circumstances okay so that is generally uh, what uh, this hormone will do for us now besides progesterone the other thing that you want to keep in mind uh, during perimenopause is that your serotonin levels are also declining so serotonin is our feel-good hormone it, you know it basically allows us to just feel happy and be in a good place but the thing with serotonin is that um, its levels are also going to be affected by how much estrogen and progesterone that we have so the fact that estrogen and progesterone are declining during perimenopause doesn't help our serotonin levels um, overall so i just wanted to give you that oh, that big picture right just so you can have an idea of really what's going on here so that for one so you understand that you really need to address this holistically so even though this video is just about herbs but keep in mind that you know your lifestyle your stress levels your food choices um your quality of your sleep your exercise so many other things your own mindset and how you perceive the world and your own body and how you perceive being in perimenopause, all of those can factor in uh, to mood swings, you know, current stress, past stress from years or decades ago, all of that um, can affect what you're experiencing right now in this moment. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So that's the big picture. Now, when we're talking specifically about herbs, uh, one of the first herbs that you want to look into is St. John's wort. This is an herb that seems to be able to increase not only the levels of serotonin, but also the levels of dopamine. So, and, and St. John's wort is used generally to support the body during uh, perimenopause because it has lots of other benefits. But definitely, this is one of the first things that you want to look at if you have mood swings uh, during this phase of life. Second herb is going to be black cohosh. So black cohosh is also used for general support during menopause. And one of the benefits that it provides is that it can soothe the nervous system. So this again can be helpful when it comes to um, our emotions and just regulating mood overall. Okay, so that would be the next option would be black cohosh. And then the third herb will be vitex. So vitex, this one, um, its main action is that it has the ability to increase progesterone. So what Vitex does is it acts on your pituitary gland and in the pituitary what it does is it will increase the levels of luteinizing hormone which is LH and then it will decrease the levels of follicle stimulating hormone so FSH and that by shifting the balance of those two hormones um, there is basically a cascade of events that leads to an increase in progesterone levels okay so those are three herbs that um, I would suggest looking into 
Uh, you could use them individually. You could potentially find some formulas in the market that already incorporate them, but those would be the three that I would suggest looking into. Now, there are a few other herbs uh, that can also be helpful for this particular situation. And I have a whole article on my website that talks about um, more herbs. So there's seven herbs in total in that article. So I will make sure to link to the article uh, in the description section of this video for you so you can take uh, a closer look at that, okay? And that's basically it for the herbs. But just to recap again, that you know, you're not this is not something that we can address just on its own. Like, you know, this is all whether it's mood swings or any other symptom, whether it's hot flashes, um, you know, disruption in your sleep, vaginal dryness, whatever other symptoms that you may have during perimenopause, just always remember that your hormones do not live in a vacuum, they are constantly you know, talking to each other and adapting based on uh, the, the levels of other hormones, based on how we're living. So it's really important that, you know, yes, use herbs to, to kind of, you know, give you some immediate relief, but keep in mind that you still do want to look at your whole, you know, your food choices and everything else and really address this thing uh, holistically, okay? So, I hope that you found this information helpful. Uh, if you did, I would appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up and feel free to share this with anybody else that would benefit from this information. And if you have any questions about this or if you have yourself have tried some other remedies that I did not mention in this video, I would be interested uh, to learn about them and I'm sure it'd be helpful to anybody else who is going through the comment section. So feel free to leave your comment uh, below. And on that note, I will say thank you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.